Hi, I wanted to uh, show you something that I've been working on and show you a little uh, technique that I've introduced to this. This is the end of an arm rail uh, for, a, for a Windsor chair. And um, traditionally it ends with a pair of volutes on the side of a paw, lion's paw here. And indeed that's, uh, that's where I'm going with this. Um, so what you would do is uh, it's been roughed out uh, with a chisel and then you would come in and finesse it with uh, a rasp or a file or rasp, rasp and then a file. This is a 10 grain and I also used after that a 13 grain. And where I got to, if you look on the back here, was this very smooth finish um, equivalent to maybe 100 grit and indeed you could follow it up with some finer sandpaper and get that really smooth. But what I've chosen to do is after I've got to that stage where it's very smooth I've decided to come back in with the chisel let me clamp this up here so I've come back in with the chisel and I've taken very small um, scallop cuts out leaving a, uh, a, a, very, a sort of tortoise shell like um, finish here which feels very nice to the touch and of course it's going to be much less problematic when I come to paint this with milk paint. It's not going to raise the grain as much because it's a cut surface as opposed to a sanded surface. Um, so let me show you where I'm up to. I've done the top and you know you sort of want to turn it over and uh, come from both sides with this. So using a, a wide chisel it's just going to take little little cuts like this until you go through the um, rasped, rasped finish and so on. And you're not changing the direction or the, the shape of the surface, you're just removing the rasp marks. It's almost like you've gone over it with a tooth plane blade and then come back in with your uh, smoother. So um, that's the effect that I'm going for. And I don't know if the light will pick this up, but you end up with this very nice faceted finish here which is obviously very smooth because it's been cut with a very sharp chisel and there's um, there's the other one that I've done here and you can make these facets as large or as small as you want to get uh, you know as curved a surface or as sort of sh um, smoothly shaped surface as you want this one on the bottom I've left quite flat large flats whereas on the top I've gone for quite small flats anyway um, that's what I've been uh, playing with um, and it feels really good so uh, thanks for watching give it a try bye